Now, I want everybody to watch this. Okay. <laughs> I want everybody. I want everybody to watch this right now, and you tell me <laughs> what you see. Okay. You tell me what you see. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna put this up. That's a big word behind there. It's fraud. Big word behind that, right? So here's the story. He wins the 100 meter in the gold. Congratulations, right? Can't take that away from him. Literally by his chin, mm -hmm. right? Wins the gold. And it was a close one, but you brung it home, brother. So can't hate you on that. Absolutely. But then came in third in the 200 meter. And then he revealed that he tested positive for COVID. And this is after the antics, after the run. This is after the falling on the run. falling on the on the track, like he can't breathe. Like, okay, I'll we'll let you finish. I'm sorry, I'm gonna cut you off. No, you good. You good. You good. So that's that day. Now, this is what happened afterwards. Hey, hey, hey. we tested positive for COVID two days later. Two days later, we got an LV. I guess that's Pearls. I don't know what the hell that's on. Out here around people dancing, living life, living up, doing his thing. Now, obviously. Where's his, where's his PR team? Hey. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, very, very, very irresponsible. Right, that he ran, I guess, with COVID, knowing what this was from a worldwide virus, regardless of what your opinion of it is. He also gave love to athletes when he was sick. Um, you know, um, so he won the 100 and suddenly lost the 200, and now he's dancing. Then he posts and tweets, I think, after this, COVID free, right. So, you know, there was other quotes or tweets about, oh, wow, your COVID recovery was faster than your 200 meter, meter <laughs> run. We all knew along you never had COVID, bro. We're not dumb. So a lot of like he had the whole Paul Pierce. Like, let's let's go back. Mm -hmm. OK, we went from that to this whole Paul Pierce look mm -hmm. right. Whole Paul Pierce look. So. You tell me, bro. What do you think about this story about Noah Lyles, and what do you think this does for his legacy moving forward? I'm going to be 100 with you. LeBron gets a lot of hate, right? Oh. LeBron gets a lot of hate. As great as LeBron is, he continues to get a lot of hate. No matter what he does, he continues to get a lot of hate. Now, I'm going to say with that being said, I think Noah Lyles may have been like USA's public enemy number one. And it's mm -hmm. the craziest thing. I feel like it was so many people rooting for him to fail. Um, I think it's his antics, his his cockiness and willing to be boisterous. Um, I think that kind of turns people the wrong way, especially when it's contemporary players that they don't do nothing like that. They're not, you know, so hype and jumping around before a race even starts. Don't forget, before this race started, he came running out, sprinting out, jumping up and down. Damn, they're doing backflips before the 200 even started. You mm -hmm. said you had COVID. Come on, my guy. You know that's not what you're supposed to be doing. And you get your ass. I mean, you got a bronze, but, it, but that's your race. The 200 is your race. So for me, the antics after the race, you falling on the ground, got to be wheelchaired out. Damn, they need an asthma pump. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. You gotta you gotta take the take the L. You know what I'm saying? Take just take the L. And then two days later, you're out in the club jumping around again. Nah, man. And then you yeah, want to like, I mean, you're not like you, you won a gold shit. medal, bro. Yep. Like you won gold. You didn't win multiple, but you won gold. Now, usually the person who wins the 100 usually wins the two. That's how it goes. Well, the 200 is his race. So this is where I commend Noah Lyles. 
it wasn't he this is his first really couple seasons which is probably two to three years of him training for the 100 and i give him all the credit in the world he put it he bust his ass to to work on the 100 and to beat and be the best in the world at the 100 and the most important time that's the olympics the 200 is his race though right mm -hmm. his weakness in the 100 is get off he doesn't get off strong enough but his two his, his later speed is phenomenal the 200 that's why the 200 is such his race because he kicks that second third fourth and fifth gear that other people don't have and he's able to dominate the 200 so to see him coming third and the 200 was very surprising he gave you his antics on why he came in third ultimately because he had COVID. but then on top of that he wants to talk crap about basketball nba players anthony edwards on getting his shoe deal and why he why adidas hasn't given him his shoe deal and it's like bro what are you talking about you're a track athlete nobody's wearing your shoes nobody you wear sprinter shoes who's wearing sprinter shoes besides the track player yeah so nobody's nobody's gonna buy those shoes people love anthony edwards they're gonna buy his sneakers <laughs> he's likable <laughs> he is he's likable he's a dog on the court but he keeps on the court you know what I'm saying? He's funny off the court. He ain't he ain't like this guy that you want to you, – you're trying so hard. I think Noah had the idea of I'm going to be the Floyd Mayweather. I'm going to be the, you know, what's my man up doing the UFC? What's the, what's the bull? Um, oh, uh, Alessandra? No, um, the Piana? Irish bull. The Irish bull. Oh, 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 oh uh, McGregor. McGregor. I think he said I'm going to take this and I'm going to boost myself up, get a lot of marketing behind me by being the villain. And now you're the villain. But I've never seen, going back to what I said originally, a lot of people from U.S. rooting against you. It's been crazy. I'm talking my timeline's like, yo, this bull better not lose. That's what they kept saying. He better not lose. He better not lose. So they was waiting. They, they was, was waiting. waiting. People for. was waiting. The, the means was ready. Yeah, well, they got him. They got him. Got him.